Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn about the topic vector atom model. The vector atom model is the extended version of Bohr and Sommerfeld atom model. The vector atom model was proposed by Ohlenberg and Goudsmith in the year 1925. Before going into the features, let us discuss about some basics. The vector atom model gives rise to angular momenta which is orbital spin and total angular momenta the angular momentum due to orbital motion of electron around the nucleus is known as orbital angular momentum which is represented as l this picture shows the orbital motion of electron around the nucleus and the angular momentum due to rotation of electron about its own axis is known as spin angular momentum which is denoted as s this picture shows the rotation of electron about its own axis and then the sum of orbital and spin angular momentum is known as total angular momentum which is represented as j there are two features of vector atom model they are spatial quantization and the spinning of electron spatial quantization what is quantization it is the physical quantity that can have only certain discrete values for example number of electrons in an atom are quantized because it is composed of certain number of individual electron and the bohr and sommer field atom model have the orbits of electron are uh, two dimensional if you want to define the position of electron we want two degrees of freedom and hence two quantum number here the magnitude of orbit is quantized this picture shows the spatial quantization and how it occurs the first picture b vector is the magnetic field and l vector is the orbital angular momentum the magnetic field is applied in atom the orbital angular momentum precedes about the applied magnetic field so here the orientation of angular momentum is quantized and the second picture is the example which is a top it also experiences the precessional motion and the third picture represents for different values of l this is how the spatial quantization occurs what is spatial quantization it is the quantization of orientation of atom in space simply we can define that it gives space for both electron and orbit previously we discussed about bohr and sommerfeld atom model and now about quantum theory which is vector atom model here we have three dimensional if you want to define the position of electron we want three degrees of freedom and hence three quantum number the first two quantum number will define the size and form and the next will define the orientation so only certain discrete orientation of electrons are allowed here hence direction and orientation are quantized here this space spatial quantization explains about zeeman effect and the stern gallach experiment is the great proof for this spatial quantization about the spatial quantization it is the quantization of orbital angular momentum in magnitude and direction which is represented as l for magnitude l is equal to root of l into l plus 1 h cross for direction l is at equal to ml h cross this picture represents the magnitude and direction of l and the next feature spinning of electron the spinning of electron explains about fine structure of uh, spectral lines and also about anomalous zeeman effect so here the electron rotates on its own axis this picture shows about the electrons spin and here the spin of electron is quantized and hence spin quantum number s is introduced here in spinning of electron there will be a quantization of spin angular momentum in both magnitude and direction to represent magnitude 
s is equal to root of s into s plus 1 h cross and for direct direction s is at equal to ms h cross this picture represents the magnitude and direction of s by concluding that the electron have both orbital and spin motion by the spatial quantization both the orbital and spin motion are quantized in magnitude and direction so they are called as quantized vectors we know that we use the term for uh, describing the magnitude and direction here both these motion are quantized in magnitude and direction that's why they named this as vector atom model that's it thank you